Okay, so this was our setup. I have my Chromebook unplugged. It is casting to the projector that is here, and then my screen is blank because I don't have the Chromebook plugged in. Let's talk about the docking station for a second. We have a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse, and both of those are connected back here. These are the dongles that go into the back, just USB. And then we have one cord that goes to our monitor here. And we have one cord here that is a VGA setup that goes to your projector. On the opposite side, you can see this is where our blue cord goes in. And that's what we need. It's going to go around and plug into your Chromebook. What's great about this blue cord that's right here, is this is going to charge your Chromebook as well as connect it to the other screens that you have in your classroom. So this is a very important piece if you want to stay connected and you want to charge. And then the only other piece in the back, if you can see it right here, this is your power source. So this goes down and plugs into the wall. On the front of it, you will see that our power is on. This is our power button. So if we want to turn off all of the monitors and everything that goes with it, we can press that button. Our keyboard and mouse then won't work. We have a USB-C and we have a USB in the front. We have a headphone jack, which is great for external speakers. If you don't like the sound that's coming out of your device or out of your board, you can go ahead and plug in external speakers to get better sound. And then you have a place for a microphone as well. One other thing about the mouse, if you see on the back of it, you'll see that we have green. And then if I move it to the middle, it is actually off. And you can see on the other side, it's blue. So blue is actually Bluetooth. You're not going to have to really worry about that. What you really want to make sure is that if you have it on green, you are using the USB. And that USB is connected on the back of your dock that you have here. In order to get everything back hooked up, it's one cord. It's a very nice setup. Everything is just one cord. Plug this in to your USB-C on the side of your computer. Let's give it a second. It turns on. All right, to start, once we log in, you're going to see that we have our screen as a separate screen. And what that's doing is it's extending it. And so what I'm going to show is how to go into your settings and actually mirror the screen that you have on your Chromebook and make it the same as the screen that is up here. And so we're going to go to the bottom right hand corner. We're going to click and we're going to click on the gear icon that says settings. Let that come up on the left hand side. We're going to go down to connected devices. And I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and you're going to see where it says displays. And what comes up is we have three displays. We have our built-in display, which is actually the Chromebook screen here. We have this middle one, and it goes to VG2448. And that's your computer monitor that is here. And then we have an unknown display, the small one, and that's actually the projector that we have here. And it's in that arranged order. So one of the nice things that you can do is you can rearrange these. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. but for the moment, we want to mirror what we have here on our Chromebook and have it also on our computer screen that's above here. So all you're going to do is click the checkbox that says Mirror Built-in Display. And you can see that we have both screens showing the exact same thing. Now you may be able to see over here that our screen isn't showing, or our projector isn't showing the exact same thing as the other two. So in order to go ahead and have all three screens be the same, you may have a different remote than this one right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on computer one. And that's going to change my screen that is over here. And now that's mirroring everything else. So all three screens now are the exact same. In order for me to go back so that my projector is not the same as the other two, it, for this remote anyways, I have to hit source. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to go to HDMI, which comes up. You may have an HDMI button already on your remote. If that's the case, then you've lucked out. If not, try your source button and see if you can change it to HDMI and now it will go back to that screen. Okay. So what does it look like when we don't want 
everything to be exactly the same. I'm going to click and uncheck the mirror built-in display button. And now I know that this first screen here, that is my Chromebook screen. The, my desktop screen here is just above it. So I'm going to drag this and I'm going to move it to where it's above it. And my projector screen is to the left of me. So I'm going to move that screen as well. So all you do is click, hold, and drag your screens in the order that is natural for you. And now it automatically saves it when you're using your Chromebook. So if I took this window and I just click and drag and I dragged up, you're going to see I'm able to drag that window up to the top. If I wanted to put it over on the actual projector screen, I can drag it over. Oh, it didn't work. Why not? Well, the reason for that is we've got to make sure, once again, that we go to our button and that we are on the correct channel. So I'm going to press that computer one button and you'll see that it is its own window screen right now up here as well. So if I drag it to the left, you can see now that it shows up. So we're able to drag things where we want them given the arrangement of the screens that we have created. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you, which is my favorite way to teach, it is the way to cast wirelessly. So this blue cord that is here, this is going in from the docking station into our Chromebook. And you have to understand that if I unplug this right now, the screen and our desktop monitor will not work. There's no computer, there's no tower that is connected to the screen or to the projector. You have to have some sort of device that's connected. And right now, by this blue cord, that is our Chromebook. I'm going to unplug this in just a second, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a Chrome tab and I'm going to go to Cast. And in this drop down menu, if you can see it, I'm going to choose my source and I can I can go ahead and cast just a tab that I have open so one specific tab or I can cast the entire screen. So I'm going to choose screen for this example and I'm going to click on my projector and then I can choose what screen that I actually want to cast up here. So it could be my display that I have here or it could be my built-in display. Now I'm going to choose built-in display because I am going to unplug it here in just a second. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to make sure my system audio is shared. That way, if I played a video, we would be able to hear it. And I'm going to click Share. Since we still have it on all three screens, I'm going to go back to my connected devices. I'm going to take a look at my displays. And instead of having them all be individual screens, I'm going to click on Mirror Built-in Display. So now I'm casting. I made sure that I switched my remote over to HDMI. And now I'm able to walk around the room, take this, no matter where I want to go, I can tablet it back and I can do the untethered teaching model where I have no wires and everything that I have on my screen is going to show up on my screen behind. If you have any issues, you can email me and hopefully I can guide you through what it is that you need to do in order to get the setup that you want.